This is the extended version of how to obtain the eternal loot glitch. First, you have to build a platform, then a door. Build 24 wall tiles on top of each other. Now rest those sticky fingers and start building again. Listen now. This is important. It's very crucial to build the tower far from the mountains. Build the tower on the largest flat surface you can find so that they spawn on the tower and not on some random mountain. Now, some basic physics. Start by building a bench. Use your enslaved friend to help you with the hard labor. Unless your Pokémon deliberately tries to sabotage your efforts. Or disappearing into Thanos' plum farm. This is also very important. You must destroy the bottom benches to disrupt the physics. Let's go harass my favorite village. Shoot the hookshot into the ground through the door to start a hookshot glitch. Here you can see that the police are trying to spawn, but they have no solid ground to stand on, so I open the door for them to be able to latch onto the door frame. You need to find the right angle for them to spawn. It's a bit tricky, but you'll get it after a few attempts. You control how they spawn. Imagine them following the movements of the mouse. If you look too much to the left, they might spawn on the bench, for example. Sometimes you need to open more doors. We don't need to see this, just a little grinding. If they end up on the bench, they'll either kill you or push you down. You can spawn a big Pokemon that can push them away, but I accidentally spawned it wrong here. But thanks to this, I found Neptune's lost treasure. But it came with a curse.